Gemini. My Henny ain't Gemini. Yeah. What's up, babies? What's up, twins? Wish popping. What's going on in the life of a Gemini between the 15th and the 30th of November? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all balancing some shit out on the inside? Hmm. Hmm. Y'all showing both faces of them damn twins <laughs> during this time. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, look out, if this is your first time to my channel, I make cuss. I make cuss a little, make cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. But I do cuss, so if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful uh, you, reader on YouTube. It's a whole bunch of them that resonates. My light working family, we be out shit working. So definitely feel free to go find um, someone who resonates with you better without the profanity. You know, my higher self and I, we both cuss. And so because of that, I just have to be authentic with myself, baby. I'm a, I'm a firecracker. I'm a little butterfly at the same time. So it just works out like that. And that's on me, baby. I got Gemini in my chart, too. It's my Venus. So I understand. Totally with this damn um, <laughs> Venus retrograde in Scorpio. Man, it ain't been too fun. <laughs> so I got to say um, to all of my new subscribers, old subscribers, family, uh, Y'all, it's been quite the journey. Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes. Y'all, I truly appreciate every single piece of love because without you guys, my growth wouldn't even be possible without your love and support. So thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate y'all. Um, This is not a personal, it's a general. You need a personal? Hit me up. I now do emergency readings. <laughs> Check me out. Because <laughs> I know Gemini, y'all don't like to wait. No. <laughs> line. <laughs> Fuck that line. I'm not standing there. <laughs> you know, I understand y'all energy. I told you, it's up in here too. So, that said, uh, this will be from the 15th to the 30th of November for my Gemini. And we gonna rock. Okay, so we gonna start off with y'all spirit message. Y'all, before I do, I gotta, because my son is a Gemini, and he's funny as shit. Let me tell you what happened. So I was messing with my child because I'm a wine drinker. You know, in my spare time, Miss Mocha drinks wine. For those ladies who are 25 plus, okay, we don't give ages around here, but for those of us who are 25 plus, um, my child, I'm always drinking. Well, I guess he just looked at the bottle, right? So I guess he was like, oh, my mom wants to ask him. I said, you want to drink with your mama tonight? This is old school, y'all. Martinelli's, the sparkling red grape. You see, it does not pertain any alcohol. It just has the little fizz, like grape, the grape juice with the fizz. I'm old, so I like it. And I found it for cheap at the dollar store. So I got me some. I tell my child, you want to drink? He said, Mom, you drinking wine? I said, yeah, you want some? Get you a cup. Why this boy thought he was drinking liquor? Y'all, I'm going to put my child in some type of acting classes or something because I put, <laughs> I gave him some of one of these. Y'all gave him half the bottle. Because I played with him and he thought he was drinking wine. We got some characters in my family, okay? I told we interested people, but I'm transparent. I never hide it, all right? So let me. This boy, I don't know who he just seen drunk because I don't hardly drink. So I don't know who the hell he seen drunk. Y'all, if y'all would have seen the show this boy put on around here, uh, damn. Slurring and some oh I'm drunk I'm going to bed mama because I'm just too drunk y'all <laughs> when I say I was in tears crying laughing at that boy my son is eight he has a Gemini he's a Gemini son he's an Aries moon and he a damn Sagittarius rising and he got a Venus his Venus is in Virgo y'all. When I say that boy something else, he a hot mess in the house. So when I grabbed this out the refrigerator earlier, I just died laughing. I don't think I can think about what's my child and the fact that I had to record Gemini. I was like, let me share this. Because this boy's so damn extra. Y'all, too much. I said, you were definitely my child because I was that kind of extra. But the fact that he thought it was liquor and he put on that damn show like that, baby. I said, let me tell you something. I'm, a, I'm taking that baby to Hollywood. He do the most. That was some funny shit. All right, so spirit. What do you have for my beautiful Gemini's between the 15th and the 30th of November? Show me. Whoa. Show me. Some of you all, during this time, you're really needing to have more faith and truly be able to see the abundance around you. 
you guys are definitely, definitely, definitely connected to spirit during this time. A lot of you all have a telepathic connection, possibly with a water sign. I feel like this could be a um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. This person could be older than you. I feel that you and this person have an in, have an infinite connection. Okay, there's a soul union here. But some of you all, there's a need to be, there's a need for you to allow yourself to heal internally. Uh, for some of you all, I feel like some of y'all have been internally kind of, especially this is for my, again, 30 plus, okay? A lot of you all are feeling in this, you've been in this place during this time, or you're going to be in this place of feeling like, you know, well, damn, it's been this long since I dated somebody, you know? You're really needing to get in touch with your emotions and not in a way that you just in your feelings, but being able to grasp and acknowledge your feelings. Um, instead of using intellect towards everything. Some of you all have really been, you need to watch your thoughts. You've been in a place of really thinking negatively about situations that really could come out very fruitful and flourishing and fulfilling if you just allow yourself to feel instead of trying to put up this big ass wall, you know, um, kind of like to, for safety. <clears throat> a lot of y'all, y'all crown chakra. It's booming, okay? So a lot of you all may be receiving um, downloads and information from Spirit, okay? Regarding a particular path that you need to take during this time. Some of you all, and I feel like it has to do with the past. This energy could be water. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But for some of you all, it's really about the self. What is it that Gemini wants? And for some of you all, you're really needing to nurture yourself better during this time. You really need to stop focusing on Tom, Dick, Harry, Sarah, and Lisa now. And really just focus on what it is that makes you happy, okay? What it is that really lights your fire. What it is that you're passionate about. There's a need to balance that masculine and feminine. I told you, you really during this time, y'all seeing both sides of yourself. Gemini, there's a need for you not to be worried about what other people are going to say. Because some of you all have a spiritual path to take up in this life. And I feel that it's... Uh, it's a form of really, really, truly helping others. Some of you guys work in the healthcare field. Some of you guys um, could also be like um, some type of um, authoritarian, some some type of like, um, I feel like I see jail, people who work in like the jails, correction officers, you guys could be probation officers, you guys could be um, dealing with like um, social services or things of that nature. But during this time, a lot of your, um, I feel like work is going to be very a sensitive subject for Gemini, especially if you're not doing or you're not happy where you are. And this goes in any type of relationship. A lot of y'all are truly, truly, truly uh, trusting your intuition. Again, they go both of them. You see both of these out? See, I like the lighting in here. I'll be having to cut the lights off. It seems like when I cut the light on, it'd be a big-ass glare. But when I cut the light off, you can see. Um, You see how this dark, this owl, this inner knowing? I feel like there's something that needs to be expressed during this time or some truth that will be kind of coming out. Some of you could also have somebody, other, other intuitives in your energy, but something is something new is trying to be birthed. And I feel like it's something that has been caught up on the inside for quite some time, something that has been webbed up inside of Gemini internally. And I feel like intuitively, some of y'all know that something's coming. Okay, but I feel like for some of you and for some of you, it could also um, have to do with your child, your children, especially if you have um, maybe a Pisces child. But some of you all, some of y'all have children that astral plane. Listen to your children, especially when you praying for something. Some of y'all children will have the answer during this time. Children say some of the darndest things, but they connected to the heavens way more than what we are because they move from a place of none of fearlessness. So the things that we be like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, you know, the kids just open. You know, they only know to be honest. So listen to your children during this time. Some of y'all feel stuck in situations. Spirit wants you to know that you're not stuck. You can truly move whenever you want to. However, you hold the keys to what it is that you want. Stop worrying about how other people are going to feel about your decision. Some of y'all really want to be free out of marriages and things of that nature, but you're worried about how outside people are going to be, how outside people are going to look at you. And maybe this could be someone in your energy. A lot of y'all are really needing to get more active during this time and really be outside more. Your intuition is truly going to flow to you through, and for some of you all, it's through the form of synchronicity, but it has to do with nature. You're needing to get out in nature more. Some of you all, 
<clears throat> or needing to <clears throat> be accepting to spirit's wisdom that they're trying to shine uh, that spirit is trying to shine a light on a particular situation gemini and intuitively like i said you know it's coming but it feels like the wall the towers have to fall down and for in order for newness to be created you're gonna have to sacrifice some burdens and some heaviness for happiness and peace and just clarity okay some of you all, I feel like you holding on to that hurt. Let that hurt go, baby. Spirit is giving you, is blessing you with a different perspective and bestowing a greater understanding on you during this time, baby. So that you can stop feeling chained to the hurt that you may be connected to from the past and let that go and take it as a lesson going forward how to move upright, okay? Or knowing why it's imperative to your soul's fulfillment that you had to go through that to bring you wisdom in a particular situation and for some of y'all it was a catalytic situation to assist you in loving yourself and so a different perspective is going to be shed um in a certain in, in a certain situation for you all that's definitely going to allow this sense of healing the mind the body the spirit the whole trinity okay some of you all are definitely learning um a lot of you all are looking into your ancestry during this time and understanding why your life is aligned up or why your life is aligned um, possibly towards um, either a mother figure or a father figure. A lot of you guys are learning about hereditary gifts and cycles. And it's allowing you to see yourself with a new beauty, a new sense of love and compassion and nurturing towards the self. It's well overdue, baby. Y'all deserve this. Be happy. All right, so Spirit, what messages do you have for my Gemini's? My Gemini's. My <laughs> From the 15th to the 30th of November. Now, Gemini's, don't be getting all sad and shit, getting like my baby getting drunk on Martinelli's, okay? Now, I ain't finna play with y'all. <laughs> Too many, yeah. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are definitely ending cycles during this period. Some of you all, um, you're really a lot of y'all are gonna be really focused on looking into your past life and understanding why a particular lover is in your world and why you have that telepathic connection to this person to know their ass coming back. Some of you guys are going to be ending cycles. Um, whoa, too many. Hold on, y'all. Spirit wanna talk to y'all. Some of y'all are gonna be ending the cycle possibly with the Scorpio. I feel like you love this person. However, this person just comes in and out of your life, and I feel like they don't bring any type of clarity or any type of decision making with them. They just want to be there. Like, God damn, the couch is there. Shit, my kids is there. Um, geez, some of you all, yeah, some of you all are possibly cutting off an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or you're really kind of contemplating about leaving this person out in the cold. I feel that a lot of y'all are just really sitting on your sitting on your feelings. I feel that even if you're like saying it to this person, some of y'all are coming out and saying it in, in a playful way, but your ass is serious during this time. A lot of you all just want to move forward. I just want harmony. I want newness. I don't want to feel stuck or trapped anymore. And there's a need um, for you guys to really set your, stand your, stand your ground, speak your truth. You know, I want to move forward. I want to move away and see what the world has for me. This just can't be it. I mean, you know, you can't tell me that growth stops here because life is limitless. It's what we make it. Some of you guys are going to be moving toward the fire sign, everything on Sagittarius. Some of y'all really want to put the work in with this person. Or oh, I feel like this person wants to move towards you and have harmony and make an offer. But I feel like in the past, if there was any form of deception with this person, this person really just wants to take it slow. They don't want to rush anything. I feel like you and this person could have actually, some of y'all have, uh, some of y'all want to make an offer. Some of y'all have a very passionate relationship with the damn Leo. And some of y'all want to make an offer uh, towards a Capricorn, but I feel like some of y'all look at this person as very toxic. It's like, I, I really want to grow with you. I want to build with you. But at the same time, a part of me wants to move away from your ass because I don't see me getting fulfillment here. Some of you guys really want to, yeah, some of y'all really want to 
Some of y'all is finna be walking out of people's life so damn fast that they, by the time they open their eye from a blink, your ass gonna be gone like magic. Some of you guys really want to start over. Some of y'all um, have a water sign during this time moving away from you. I feel like uh, some of y'all could be moving away from a water sign. Some of y'all just really just want happiness. I want happiness. I want fulfillment. I want security. I want stability. I want a sense of newness. I don't want to feel trapped. Some of y'all really got to speak y'all truths. And y'all really worried about leaving somebody out in the cold. Because Gemini, you really want to be fair. You know, you want everyone to have this sense of fairness. Some of you guys want to make an offer to a Pisces. But I feel like this person makes you feel trapped in, closed in. Some of y'all are definitely in y'all head during this time about moving forward. And for what? Your happiness is essential to you. With that song, y'all, the only thing, I, I, only thing, I, only thing I'm thinking about right now is Cause some of y'all feel like this. I'm living my best life. <laughs> Ain't going back up with you. Mm -mm. I'm living my best life. Yeah, some of y'all just trying to live your best life. I just want to move forward. Some of y'all feel caught in the web, possibly of a three-party situation between a Capricorn or a Virgo and a Pisces and a, or a Scorpio <coughs> or even Cancer. They here too. Some of you guys are being very defensive towards changes. I feel like things are changing very rapidly for you all. And, you know, this could even be someone else, an air sign or a fire sign setting boundaries with you, Gemini. And I feel like for some of y'all, y'all just like, you know, I know that you my new beginning. I know that this is where I'm supposed to be because some of y'all have nothing but new, new, new shit coming on into your life. If you just be accepting and allowing and be open to moving away from things that no longer serve you instead of trying to control the outcome of things because you can't move forward with no expectations of if the shit don't work out the way you want it to, you just only gonna let yourself down. So just go live life without feeling like you gotta control every damn thing and control how things go in order for you to be happy because spirit is moving a lot of y'all away from that comfort, okay? Some of you all really, really want to reconcile with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, y'all, there is so much love here in this relationship. And I feel like, I'm feeling like a sense of like Romeo and Juliet. Like, as much as I love you, you know, I just can't be with you. For some of y'all, it is having to do with external uh, external people. I see mother figures here. I see uh, mostly women figures, mothers and sisters. Um but I do see for some of you all, it's also a battle of the ego, uh, possibly with another air sign I'm seeing during this time. But that cycle is going to close. It's just truly about how you and this person is willing to compromise with one another to have that understanding. Some of y'all definitely got a soulmate relationship around. Okay, and I feel like whomever this person is, for a lot of y'all, this person hurt your feelings in the past or you hurt theirs. Some of you guys want to offer a new beginning. Um... Yeah, some of y'all want to offer a new beginning. Some of y'all got Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo that you got to say I'm sorry to, Gemini, because some of y'all didn't cut the hell up and put this person in a pretty sticky situation, or this could have been done to you. Some of you all, it's time for love and happiness. All of that being afraid of vulnerability, that's going to end during this time. Some of you guys have a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person wants to put in the work with you. But some of y'all, this is that damn telepathic connection. Either you or this other person knows that the other one wants to return, okay? For some, a lot of y'all, it's a Leo. Some of y'all is Sag and Aries here too. But I feel like... You and this both you and you and this person wants to return to one another. However, both of y'all are prideful as shit. Even though there is so much love here. You need to make a judgment, Kyle Gemini. What do you truly want? Because to be honest with you, it's really love. Loyalty. Give to me equally. We both went through a bunch of shit in life where we had to cut people off, people, places, and things in order to heal from whatever this deception was. And Gemini, if you're worried about finances, we're moving away from someone in love. Just know spirit got you, dude. You're going to be okay. Not only are you going to go from this nine of pentacles looking real good by your damn self and cut these feathers protected, spiritually protected and guided, baby. You're going to be okay. But you're going to grow from a nine to a boss. Some of you guys really want to invest in a business, but you're afraid that your business won't be successful. Because of dream killers and, and, and others and hearsay of other people and their failure stories. They not you. They ain't got your damn story. So don't allow, don't place your fears in another person. 
Some of y'all are really missing a Leo. And there's so much love there. I feel that you and this person, you could be in communication with this person. But I feel like, Gemini, you're kind of holding your feelings to yourself because either you or this person or well, both of y'all could have some type of, like, rejection issue. Okay? Even though that's your twin flame. That's your soulmate. That's your lover. Gemini, there is nothing to fear but fear itself. Make that move. And don't do it deceptively because some of y'all going to sneak out and miss. Somebody's going to come home and all your shit going to be gone. Hell yeah, I said it and I see it. But tell the truth. Even out the scales. Don't keep a person entrapped in their thoughts of what they did or what they could have done. When ultimately what you really wanted was happiness. And if a person truly loves you, they understand that love is not control. Love is compromise. Love is not trying to change a person. It's accepting the fact that that's who that person is. They're good, they're bad, they're ugly. And love is not a fucking war. Because for some of y'all, the heartbreak behind the situation is tip the tech. Oh, you cheated on me? So I'm going to cheat on your ass. And let me cheat in peace. Because if some of y'all really, really manifested this person back into your life with the thoughts, when you're thinking about them, they're thinking about your ass. Some of y'all been trying to manifest a, a, a earth sign who is uh, financially stable. Capricorn towards Virgo. And some of you all are just standing your head about if I leave this situation and if I go be happy, this person going to hurt. Can God do God's job? How you know you wasn't the catalyst to somebody else's growth? Some of y'all had someone as a catalyst to your, whoever this is. This person, for some of you all, this fire sign and this damn uh, water sign here, they were a catalyst to your growth. For some of you all, it was the earth sign or Capricorn who was the catalyst to your growth. This had to happen in order for you to see the world from such an expansive place. Where you think that won't, that desire, that fire comes in order to go, that fire is coming from in order to go see what the fuck else is out there. Respect the God that lives within you. And let the creator... Mother, the universe, assist everyone else and point them in the direction that they need to go. Because maybe you and this other person got a twin flame connection to get to. The things that we believe and the things that we have been taught, Gemini, y'all are really going through breaking cycles and paradigms and programming of the mind. Because y'all are such a strategic, logical energy. What makes sense? The spirit is offering you a different gift. And it's to feel your way through it. What feels right to me? That is my truth. And I'm going to tell you something. Mocha still going to love you. Judge you for what? It's a journey. Whatever you choose to do, as long as you happy, and you come back here smiling with all of this love and energy y'all be coming to rain on me. I'm cool. Because me, darling, me, honey, child, boo-boo, child. <laughs> if I want to be happy, it's not a motherfucker, a person, a place, a nothing that's going to stop me from being happy. I'll work it out with the creator later. Because I've sacrificed most of my life giving to situations even the ones that didn't serve me and I knew that they didn't but I learned something from them though maybe you somebody's teacher think about it I love you babies this is what I have for my Geminis between the 15th and the 30th of November y'all please like share comment subscribe and I will see y'all again on the damn Q&A that I keep trying to get together oh my goodness love y'all booze bye